Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode of Know Your Rights, we will be covering a recently filed federal lawsuit out of Las Vegas. In the lawsuit, a black man was held in two different jails because officers in both police departments mistaken him for a white man that was 20 years his senior. If this type of content sounds interesting to you, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. Now let's take a deep dive on this case of mistaken identity. A black man who spent nearly a week in jail for a crime he didn't commit is suing the city of Las Vegas and its Metropolitan Police Department and its sister department. Officers apprehended him in 2020 because he had the same name as the true suspect in the crime, a white male. Shane Lee Brown was incarcerated for six days in 2020 at the Henderson Detention Center and the Clark County Detention Center after law enforcement officers from both police departments mixed him up with another man, according to the lawsuit. The plaintiff is a 23-year-old black man who stands 5 feet 7 inches tall. The man who should have been arrested was a 49-year-old 5 foot 11 inch tall white man with a bushy white beard and blue eyes, according to the arrest warrant. The arresting officers neglected to conduct a thorough investigation into the person named on the warrant. Shane Lee Brown was driving home from work on January 8, 2020, when he was pulled over by one or more unknown Henderson City police officers, according to the lawsuit. Mr. Brown didn't have his driver's license, so he provided his name, cell security number, and cell security card instead. When the officers looked up the name and discovered the identical first and last name with a warrant, he thought it was the man sitting in the car that he had pulled over in front of him. If the officer had read the warrant, he would have noticed the description of the man who had an outstanding felony bench warrant for illegal firearm ownership or possession. Shane Neil Brown, the subject of the warrant, was convicted for the first time in 1994, two years before the plaintiff was born. Despite this, Shane Lee Brown was arrested and held in the Henderson Detention Center from January 8th to the 10th before being moved to Clark County Detention Center by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department on January 14th. Shane Lee Brown tried to convince the police that they were holding an innocent man, but his pleas fell on deaf ears. Despite being told of this false identity, none of the unknown Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department or correctional personnel bothered to investigate its own records to assert whether that Shane Lee Brown was the target of the warrant, according to the lawsuit prepared by attorney Brent Bison. Had any of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department officers or correctional officers performed any due diligence, such as comparing Shane Lee Brown's booking photograph to existing mugshots belonging to the older, white Shane Brown named in the warrant, compared their fingerprints, date of births, ID numbers, or even just the physical description, they could have easily determined that Shane Lee Brown was misidentified as the subject of the warrant. On January 14, 2020, Judge Joe Hardy presided over a bench warrant return hearing. Shannon L. Phoenix, Shane Lee Brown's public defender, told the courts the same thing her client had been telling the officers since before his arrest. As a dramatic demonstration, she juxtaposed a mugshot of a white man submitted online with one of her client taken just days prior. She also compared the two men's social security numbers, which none of the officers had done. Shane Lee Brown was promptly released by the judge. The Las Vegas Metro Police Department, Henderson Police Department, City of Henderson, Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo, and Henderson Police Department Chief Thedric Andres are also named as defendants in the lawsuit. It's pretty impossible to make mistakes of that scale when you have such clear traits and race of suspects, Mr. Bryson said. According to the Las Vegas Review-Journal, City of Henderson spokeswoman Caitlin Richards made a statement about the lawsuit on Tuesday, January 11th. These claims will be addressed in their response to the lawsuit, she stated. The Las Vegas Metro Police Department did not respond to a request for a comment. This happens much more frequently than what the public learns about, Mr. Bryson said, despite the fact that both departments are keeping quiet. Timothy Ernie Diaz, 53, was mistakenly identified in 2018 in a scenario identical to Shane Lee Brown's. 
In 2017, Chandler, Arizona police mistook him for Timothy Dean Diaz, a 20-year younger guy, and arrested him. He had to borrow money from his family to post the $10,000 bond, according to an ABC action for a crime he didn't commit. The real suspect was a young white man with brown hair, utterly unlike the older Hispanic man who was innocent. No one believed Timothy Ernie Diaz when he said he was innocent. His son went to the Chandler Police Department with a public records request for the arrest report, and that is when the officers realized they were looking at the wrong person. They had not compared the suspect and the accused birth dates, full names, just as the officers had done in Shane Lee Brown's case. Shane Neil Brown was discovered in California eight days after Shane Lee Brown was released from Clark County Detention Center. According to court papers, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office contacted Las Vegas police and informed them where their suspect's location was. Shane Lee Brown is seeking $500,000 in compensatory damages under federal law, an additional $50,000 minimum under state law, in addition to punitive damages in his lawsuit. Well, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, YouTube, you stay safe out there. Before we break down this footage, I want to take a moment and talk to you about We The People University. If you haven't heard about this online course, I want to let you in on a little secret. Its sole purpose is to train you to know what it takes to make sure you are not unfairly treated by the police ever again. Who better to teach you what to do when the police try to search you or your property illegally or violate any of your constitutional rights than former police officer and sheriff's deputy Abaya Israel. Learning your basic rights is an easy process. The only thing it takes is you being willing to learn. Do you want to learn all the trick questions that police ask during a traffic stop? Do you want to take back control from the police? If so, please click on the link in the description below. You will learn the secret of taking control of your constitutional rights back from the tyrants who abuse the law.